and we are here. <clears throat> hey, good morning, everybody. Thanks for tuning in to Concrete with the Hosses. I'm co pilot. Steve is my chauffeur here, looking for a place to park. My name is Chives when I'm a chauffeur. Thank you very much. It's pretty nice out today. It's about to hit 60. A little bumpy getting in there. Uh, we're going to go around back here and pour a patio. Hope you enjoy the video. There we are, parked. So we just have to clear a path here. Nice solid ground. Uh, is it this corner? Could be this corner. No, this corner over here. A little bit muddy back here. Not too bad. All under roof. This looks high, huh? So from the door straight out five feet past the posts is where we're going. Uh, so we'll get some heights set up. This is definitely high. I get a machine fired up. I didn't bring one. We'll have to use the uh, builder's skid loader. Yeah, I'm guessing I'm about three inches high right where I'm standing. All right. Get some tools out. Talk to you soon. Well, I was working on my trailer this weekend. Uh, the lights, I got pulled over by the DOT uh, because my um, uh, turn signals weren't working on the driver's side. Uh, so I started messing with that. The buckets are all rotted. Uh, so I cut those off, made new buckets, put new lights in it. Uh, so my trailer's not with me. What, 99% of the time, I have a skid loader with me all the time. I didn't bring it today. The builder was supposed to have theirs there. It's on a different job site. So Steve and I are racing home to get a different trailer and skid loader. Uh, communication, you know. I, I asked him if there was a machine there. He said, yeah. I said, okay, because I don't have mine. Uh, he said, no problem. Keep coming. We'll, we'll make it work. So here we are. Uh, 8 o'clock in the morning. Monday morning. Monday morning. Heading home through Cranberry traffic to get a machine. So we can make about $150. Hey, there, it should be all uphill from here, though. Yeah. Rain coming in at 6? Yeah. Okay. You start your Monday off bad, so then you can only go up from there. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. yeah. That's what I meant. Okay. Let's hope so. Okay, they have that form set, uh, 2%, a light 2%. We're under roof, so a little bit less fall. Taking this end down, their intersect point right here. Yeah, keep going. One more, one more, one more, good. Now we have a nice straight plane coming across. We're going to leave this board out for power buggies. This is strung, nice and straight. Money. There we go. Set our corners are set. String the middle. Keep taking it down to the string. Okay. Couple more rebar. As soon as we get this form set, I'm sprinkle a stone in here. We're gonna pour this patio about five inches thick with some half inch rebar. Notice up here we're drilled and pinned in nice and low. Concrete will set around these rods ever so slightly, mainly setting on it so they won't sink. I get a lot of grief on that. We've been doing it 
That way for years, it works well. Concrete pad setting on the pad. That way if the pad needs to heave a little bit with the frost of the winter, it's able to do that. Okay. More stone mat? Okay. Okay, good timing. All mixed up. We'll just nose them up to the buggies. And get going. It's about 10.30. So we didn't lose too much time. That looks good. Alright. I'll head around back. Make sure we're all good to go. Bugging it right around here. It's a little too, it's definitely too soft to get a mixer around here and not enough room to make the turn. Uh, so buggies are easy, easy cleanup. A pumper for six yards. A lot of set up and breakdown. Okay, perimeter chairs underneath. What's that mess there? Yeah, I'll fix it. Okay, thanks. Uh, around the perimeter with our chairs and then we'll put them in the middle once we're done buggying uh we have expansion against the block a little bit of movement okay. yep okay here comes our first buggy that's how he's on the mats for turning And repeat. Just heard the mixer rev up. Is this our last buggy? Is he empty? Empty. Oh, close top. I think we're good. We can scrape number one buggy as well. Yeah. Yep. You're going to need some of that back here. Pull that ahead and see. corner right here and I think we are plenty. Yeah. Uh, let me put this down. Making sure our corners are nice and full. You have to come up with some for right here, and I think we are good. Steve's standing in a pile.
plenty. Good shape. I finished both loops. Plenty of concrete. Last little bit of bull floating. <coughs> Good job. Nice. Okay. A little bit of cleanup. Yeah. So I want to cut off of that corner. We'll just turn that into a border the whole way around. That'll help give some relief around this post. Hey, now before Jim picks that up, he'll wet stab it and cut it. And that'll help separate it a little bit more. Now he'll just clean that up with his joiner. Cut a border in. You can see our line 10 inches back. All the way around. Right on up to that corner. Same thing. Good, go ahead. Yep. Okay. And then sitting there right here. Now we'll check that side, check this side. Yeah. That'll take a plain broom patio and dress it up. That way we can charge more money. Okay. So that's it all done. Nice the first time, and it goes better on the finish. Now cut center and center, and that'll give us good protection. Steve marked these before the pour, so now he'll just throw the uh, string over the mat. On camera, can he make it? And can Matt catch it? Oh, uh, look at that. No, there's a mark right by your float. Four even pads. Square and parallel. Perpendicular, parallel. Okay, give that a couple minutes. Okay, starting to put our cuts in. In the sun, it's getting tighter. Pretty good in the shade back there. Okay. Let's get those cuts in. Get it rubbed up. It is lunchtime. <laughs> okay. Home stretch right off of there from Matt. Steve's going to take care of that corner. I'm going to start brooming this border out here in the sun. Yeah, nice and straight. Good deal. Okay, my broom marks on the main are going to go this way. So the border, I'm going to broom opposite. Just trying to keep them as straight as I can. All right, so we'll get this going. Heck, we could even do a little diagonal. And then clean it up this way. Why not?
I was able to get this square done. You can see how the broom changes direction around the border. That looks nice. Took about, what, three minutes to do? Yeah. Uh, and it's a nice touch on this patio. It's plain broom concrete, but I think it looks pretty good. Even, even plain concrete wants to look good. See if we can't make this happen. We didn't do too bad. We got here just after eight, went home, got the machine, got back here just after nine. Mixer got here at ten. What time is it now? Is it twelve? Twelve oh seven. Twelve oh seven. We're brooming it. Rain is due at seven tonight. I think we're going to be okay, as well as I'm getting hungry. Last corner, two brooms to go. That's just helping me with the transition. Remember, these walls get stoned, so they come out two inches. On top of the concrete so if we're not broomed all the way up to the edge that is definitely okay and last one sand away from the door right past it okay go ahead there we go Matt's touching up in front of the door. Nice soft bristled hand brush. Actually, I keep calling it a door, but it's a it's a fake door. It doesn't open. All right. Okay, that's how we're going to leave it for today. Caution tape up. There's really nobody back here and it's quite muddy, so I don't anticipate anybody back here. But we just did our corners with the caution tape. Okay, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, nice simple patio. That's one less thing we have to do uh, when the weather gets really nice. Uh, now we can be out front doing driveways, um, front walk, and so forth. On to the next project. See you soon.